All right, here are all the mobility exercises in week eight that I'm doing this week. This one's abduction, and we're trying to get as much range as possible within my stiffness limits. Flexion's the same, trying to get up as high as possibly can without trying to compensate. Yeah, uh, the external rotation, I can move up to basically 90 degrees abduction now and really access a little bit more range. I'm still doing it passive, so working on trying to push that external rotation range in abduction, but doing it supine so there's not too much active movement going on. Yep. Now with week eight, I'm allowed to do active assisted work. So this is active assisted. So I am lifting a bit with this pole, but I'm assisting using the pole. And I'm going on an angle to give me a little bit more external rotation rather than going internal rotation. So a bit of an angle and trying to go up above your head. Now with the flexion, I always like putting in the external rotation part, especially with if you've limited with your external rotation, trying to keep that elbow and forearm vertical. So you're really putting on some external rotation pressure and only just going up to 90 degrees to keep that external rotation during flexion. I don't have to worry about this one. Always like doing a bit of thrust extension now because I've got some more range, I haven't got quite as much range here, I can just rest this one on my forehead. So I'm keeping almost the same both hands, but one's in front, one's behind. And that allows me to do extension with the shoulder blades sort of out of the way. And the last mobility today in this week is just getting that ball in the back of the deltoid because it's been so dormant there for quite a few weeks and we're now starting to get things moving. There's a lot of trigger points through the back of the deltoid and the rotator cuff and it's really nice to try and mobilize that and get stuck in and release all that to help you out.